This had to set up face tracking in, in OBS, like so you don't get cropped out when you're moving about. This, this is how to do it. <laughs> This is quite an easy plugin to just apply and, and leave if you want, but I'll also explain all the nitty gritty settings in case you want to refine it to what you need, basically. Okay, so on your camera input, you're just gonna right click, hit filters, and we're gonna add in right down here. Face tracker, bada bing, hit okay. And now right off the gate, we're moving, we're, we're moving. We're moving far too deep. Right, I am going to enable right at the bottom face detection results just so we can see what it's doing. See, it can see my face. There we go. And it's, oh boy. Right, I'll just go through all the features of all the settings you'll probably need to adjust uh, to get it working so it's not this intense. <laughs> First little section in face detection options you don't really need to adjust this. This is just kind of the size of this tracking box. One thing you may want to turn on is enable landmark detection. If you tick that on, here we go. It should automatically browse to the right file. I'm just gonna zoom this out before we keep going. This basically allows it to track track eyes and, and mouth as well, which makes it a little, a little more accurate, but it can also be a bit more intensive on your CPU. For the effectiveness of the three-point tracking, I think it's worth having on. See how your computer handles it. Maybe turn it off if you can't quite handle it. Okay, so tracking target location sort of dictates how the reframing works. So between zoom and max scale adjusts how, how big your head is going to get. I personally like to have it on zoom to and max scale 1.2. Max scale is obviously how how big it can scale your initial canvas. So the closer you get, the the more resolution you'll lose. So you don't want it too high, or it will start to look a bit weird. And then the X and the Y determines whereabouts your head is placed in the frame. Uh, so you can see I'm quite central already. Uh, but if I adjust the X, you'll see I'll move over to one side move over to the other, um, and if I move the Y, I move up in frame or down in frame. I would suggest to sort of adjust your Y so that your head's in the upper third of your framing because that kind of, that looks nicest rather than having it dead center. Okay, now we're into the, the gobbledygook section and there's a lot of letters. <laughs> okay, KP, this is how responsive you want the tracking to be, okay? KI is the movement speed, how how quickly it, the reframing, reframes. Uh, <laughs> TD is the acceleration of the camera, how quickly it takes to get up to its, its fastest move speed. Yeah, I would suggest putting all these around 0.3. There's two LPF settings, and these kind of try to alleviate micro jitters from tracking your face. So if we crank all the tracking things up to, to max, you'll see just from kind of sitting, it's jibbing about a lot, okay? Um, but if we turn up the LPF, um, you'll see it's holding steady a bit better if we don't move. Now if we turn it down to zero, don't turn it down to zero, don't, don't do that. The last sort of setting you need to know here is dead band, uh, X, Y, and, and Z. This basically gives you a safe zone before the tracking kicks in. Really useful if you want the camera to only track up and down or, or just left and right, for example. Let's say I don't want it to sort of follow me up and down, okay? I can add a dead zone to the Y. You can see even if I go down, it's not gonna track me down, but if I go left and right, it's still gonna track me left and right. If you need, if you need want that, you, you can, <laughs> can do that. What is this video? This is this is the video of me doing this. Okay, so you've set up face tracking how you want it. But what if what if you have it in your game scene? You want it in your game scene to reframe your camera for you moving about. But what if you don't want it on your just chatting scene? There's a simple solution. Okay, rather than adding in your camera source into your game scene, we're going to add in a source mirror. And we're going to make this mirror the camera. Now back on our original camera, we can turn this filter off, remove it from the actual camera source. So now on your just chatting, you're not tracking. If we go back to our source mirror, we can add in additional filters on here 
which will only apply to this, this mirror source, but not the original. So go to your source mirror and then add in your face tracking. And there we go. We've got face tracking on our game scene. So I move about, my camera's staying in frame, and then I'm oh, just chatting, it's, it's not tracking anymore. There you go. That's how to do the thing.